So today we're out here in a very cold winter's day in Tampa, Florida, with the temperature hovering around a frigid 64 degrees. And today I want to talk to you about the new Skydio 2 firmware upgrade, where they give us the keyframe option. So stick around, and I'll show you how it works. But what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the Skydio 2 and its new firmware update. And the thing that gives us is a function called keyframes. I'm going to show you how that works today, and we're going to say if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So we're going to connect up to our Skydio, begin flight, starting Skydio autonomy engine. And we're going to launch. And here we go, here goes the Skydio. Go out and spin around and put me in its camera. And if you notice right now, well, I was trying to settle down to decide where it wants to be between these palm trees. But once it settles in, you'll see that blue circle around me. And it looks like it's trying to, to track me. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna go over here to our motion track button and click on that and go to keyframes. And this is the mode we want to be in right now, it's keyframes. So I'm going to give it a little altitude to start off with. We're up there 24 feet right now. And what I want to do is add my key first keyframe. So I'm going to click add, add my keyframe. I've got keyframe added. Now if you notice today I'm using my phone to fly the drone. You can use your controller. Maybe it does better, maybe not. But one thing I want to point out, let me blow this up a bit here is look at the bad pixelation on the feed to the phone. I'm very disappointed in that, and I hope that's something they fix in one of the future updates. But for now, you notice the picture coming out of the drone is very good, so I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm going to go ahead and fly forward a bit. Go ahead and turn around here and follow it. And we're going to stop it right there. Now at that point, I'm going to go ahead and add another keyframe. Keyframes added. So I'm going to go forward a bit, but this time I'm going to turn back to the left a bit. And once it settles down, I'm going to set that as my second keyframe. Keyframes added. I'm going to go forward. And this time I'm going to yaw it a bit to go the other direction. Fly forward, and just pick a spot here. I know this is not ter terribly complex, but you can get the idea. So we'll hit an add right here, add another keyframe. So I'm going to go forward a bit. Going to go ahead and yaw it around a bit here. Fly it forward a bit here. And we can speed this up if we want to. Stop at that point, add another keyframe. Then, once that's done, I'm gonna aim it back towards me. Here comes a bird that doesn't like me. Osprey, I hope he leaves me alone. And I'm gonna fly forward again. And I'm gonna stop about there and add that as my final keyframe. Now, once I've done that, I can go ahead and hit done. And you see the whole series of keyframes lined up on the bottom of the page there. Now, if I hit the play button at this point, it would actually go backwards and follow the route, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to hit this last or first keyframe and notice it's going to fly back to where it began. So that's a good thing. And that means we can start from the very front there. But I noticed something here. We started at 24 feet. It's now at 31 feet in that beginning point. So I'm not sure if it's holding its altitude like it should, and that may be a problem there. So if you notice in the distance, and I'll blow this up here too, you'll see that kind of purple line. That's kind of the roller coaster route that the drone's gonna follow as it goes through those white diamond keyframes. So we'll go ahead and hit play at this point and have it run through there. And let's see what it does. I'm gonna fly to its first keyframe point. Following that purple line, you can see it on the little screen there. Nice smooth arc. So it's flying well. It's doing a good job. 
turns left of the little bit, puts that yaw in there that I had, doing everything I told it to do, making a nice smooth arc, probably smoother than I can do, coming back around, and it's going to stop at that last keyframe right here. So let's go ahead and send it back to the first one again. And this time what I'm going to do is turn off keyframing. I'm going to hit keyframe, my keyframe button again. Clear keyframes. Yes. Hit keyframe again. And go back to motion track. And let's see if it can find me again. Okay, it kind of sees me in the corner. I tap on that. There we go. Now the blue lines come around me again. So now it's going to track me. So there you have it. You know, that's kind of the good and the bad. It's very intuitive to use. I have no problem using it. I'm concerned about the pixelation in the pictures. I don't like that. It looks like the heights and, and routing may vary a little bit. In fact, if you redo this route, you have to take off from the exact same spot to get the same keyframe points in there. So I think it's a great first effort from Skydio. I hope they improve on it, but I like it so far. So that was it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if you feel like sharing with your friends, please do so. That would be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you so much for watching.